Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Citrix Netscaler by deploying a LoginTC radius connector virtual appliance and modifying your Citrix Netscaler. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector Appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVF slash OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the Login C Radius Connector Virtual Appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into your VMware ESXi console, click create slash register VM, Select Deploy a Virtual Machine from an OVF or OVA file. Click Next, then click to add the relevant OVF files. Enter a name for the appliance and click Next. Select your relevant storage and select your desired provisioning. Now that you've completed the new VM wizard, click Finish. To view the newly deployed virtual appliance, select the new instance and then open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is now ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Hit the escape key and pick a password for the LoginTC-user user. This password will be used when logging into the Virtual Appliance's web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does, doesn't, don't affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Finally, turn on the web server. Now that the web server is turned on, open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated in the bottom right-hand corner. Enter the same password you configured originally to log in. Now your Login C Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now you're going to add a new configuration to accept authentication requests. Click Create your first configuration. Retrieve your application ID and application API key from the Login TC Administration Panel. If you have not created an application, click Applications. Type Citrix and then click Citrix Netscaler 10. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to View. Copy the API key and paste it. Click Test and Next. Now configure first factor authentication. If you use a Radius server for first factor authentication, you can select Radius. For this video, first factor authentication will be configured using Active Directory instance. Enter the Active Directory host and port, then enter the distinguished name of a read access user of a user that has read access to the directory in the bind DN field. Enter the password as well. This account will be used by the Radius connector to connect the Active Directory and validate the user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all your users reside. Fill out the username, name, and email attributes as well. Scroll down, click text, and then next. Pass through is an optional feature where you can configure which users must be challenged with second factor. You can use a static list of usernames or Active Directory group memberships. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control the two-factor authentication rollout to your user base. In this video, all users will be challenged. Finally, configure the Radius client. 
Enter the name of the client as it will appear in your configurations list. Enter the IP address where the authentication request will originate from. Enter a secret that will be shared between your login to see radius connector and the, v the radius client. Pick iframe as the authentication mode for the most streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test and save. Now the configuration is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the administration panel and from the domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click create member. The username must match the username in your Active Directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address, and click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with LoginTC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the LoginTC app Click Add Token and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your LoginTC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with LoginTC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance. This test verifies that both first and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click Test Configuration to open the test configuration modal. Enter the username and password and click test configuration. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your Citrix Netscaler using the web UI interface. On the LoginTC radius connector, under the settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and radius authentication and accounting ports. Now navigate to the Citrix Netscaler web UI interface. Enter your administrator credentials and log in. Click authentication in the left menu and then click dashboard. Click add to create a new authentication server. Under choose server type, select radius. Enter a name and then enter the IP address of the LoginTC radius connector. Ensure the radius server port is set to 1812 and enter the same radius server secret used when creating the configuration on the LoginTC radius connector. Set the radius timeout to 95 seconds and click test connection. Verify the test passes and click Create. Now click Netscaler Gateway in the left menu and then click Virtual Servers. Select the virtual server you wish to add LoginTC multi-factor authentication to and click Edit. Under Basic Authentication, click the plus button. Under Choose Policy, select Radius. And under Choose Type, select Primary. Click Continue. Under Select Policy, select the plus button to add a new policy. Enter a relevant policy name, and under Server, make sure the Login TC Radius Connector server is selected. Set Expression to NS underscore TRUE. Click Create. Set the priority to 100 and click Bind. Now modify a Netscaler file to ensure LoginTC multi-factor authentication options appear when a user accesses your Citrix Netscaler service. Connect to your Citrix Netscaler over SSH.
run the command shell. Then type the command cd space forward slash netscaler forward slash ns underscore gui forward slash vpn. Create a backup of nsshare.js by entering the command cp space nsshare.js space nsshare.js back. Run the command chmod 557 nsshare.js. Open the file using vi space nsshare.js. Scroll down to the bottom of the dialog body 2 function to insert the Citrix integration snippet. Navigate to the documentation to copy the Citrix integration snippet. Press O to insert and paste it. Now ensure you've entered your application ID in the Citrix integration snippet. Retrieve the application ID from the LoginTC admin panel. Copy it and paste it. Now enter colon wq to save and exit the file. Run the command chmod 555 nsshare.js. Exit your SSH session. Your Citrix Netscaler is now protected with LoginTC multi-factor authentication. Now test Citrix Netscaler using the Citrix Netscaler web portal with both first factor authentication against Active Directory and second factor using LoginTC. Navigate to the Citrix Netscaler web portal. Enter your username and password and click log on. You will now be shown with various options to authenticate with LoginTC. Click send me a request to authenticate with a push notification. Tap approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your Citrix Netscaler securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication.